Baby, I know all your secrets, but you tell me stupid lies. Oh, you think you can escape now and got it all just figured out. Hey, y'all, welcome to another reading vlog. This is going to be my vlog for Becca's 48 hour book uplathon readathon which literally just started 11 minutes ago and is running this weekend. So I thought I would pop on, get the footage started, and let you know kind of what I'm hoping I might be able to read over the weekend. Um, so the first two roles that Becca did were for a short book and for a book with gods. Now, I'm gonna like stretch that God's one a bit, but Becca said you're allowed to do that if you can make it work. Um, you know, kudos to you. And I'm going to go with Confessions by Kane Minato. This is the book for May for the Literally Dead Book Club hosted by Books and Lala. And this book is 234 pages. And so definitely a short book, under 300 pages. And it's a mystery thriller. And basically it's about this teacher who tenders her resignation and then she reveals a bunch of people's secrets in her final lecture. And I feel like a person who has loads of information on someone or a lot of secrets to share um, is a godlike character. It also sets in motion a plot for revenge, and I feel like the person enacting the revenge is also godlike because the people that they're trying to get revenge on are like at their mercy. So um, this is the book that I'm gonna focus on for those first two prompts. Now, I cannot promise that I'm going to read something for every single prompt. Like that's just not, that's not possible. Um, it is a weekend. I am still teaching. We have one week of school left and I'm just going to see what I can get done. But because this one's on my May TBR, um, I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to try to make a bit of a dent in this tonight. The next roll drop is at 6 a.m. my time. Um, so I am six hours behind Becca. She's in British summertime, I believe is what it is. And I'm six hours behind that. So um, 6 a.m. is the next roll drop. And your girl's not going to be up for 6 a.m. Like, I am not staying up all night for this. I can't. I just can't. Um, I'm tired already and I need my sleep on the weekend. But we're gonna try to do as much reading as we can, try to make things fit prompts. So this is the one that I'm going to start with. Um, whether I can get this done, you know, in a timely fashion, stay tuned, we'll see. It's not very long. I feel like I should be able to get through it decently quickly, but again, we'll see. Other books that I'm hoping I might be able to make work include Book of Night by Holly Black. I am almost done with this. So I am um, right here. I have this much left. I am on page 249, and this one has 304 pages. So this one's also not very long. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe this will fit a prompt and I can finish this. I also am currently reading... Gallant by V.E. Schwab. This is just the dust jacket. The book is out of the living room. So, you know, if I could make this fit something, that would be great. And I also still have East by Edith Pateau. Pateau? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. On my monthly TBR as well. So, you know, if I can maybe get started on that one, that would be great. I also just downloaded the audiobook of The No Show. Here's the cover. By Beth O'Leary um, from my library. So, you know, I've got some things to play around with, but this is what we're going to start with and um, see how it goes. I am very curious because it's not very long and um, it'll be interesting to see how they, how the author like condensed a thriller into a very short amount of pages. So, stay tuned right now i am going to have some dinner and just chill um 
This was a long week. It's, it was not a bad week. We actually had a pretty good week, surprisingly, because as the end of the year comes, like the kids kind of um, go off the rails a bit. And maybe because my class has been <laughs> a bit off the rails the whole year, the end of the year does not feel any different to me, um, but we're actually doing okay. So I at least had that going for me this week. But yeah, um, they've just started the first sprint, so I might um, read a bit of this along with them just to see what I can get done. I think they did like a 35 minute sprint. And I will come back on and chat with you and let you know my thoughts. And we'll just take it from there. This is the first 48 hour um, readathon I've ever tried to vlog. So we'll see what I can do for you. I will check in later. You can fake it. happy Saturday um, it's 12.03 I got up at 11 <laughs> um, I'm coming to you au natural today because it's Saturday it is rainy it's actually stormy outside and um, I did not feel like doing a whole lot more with myself than I did so the next two rolls for um, Bookoplathon came out she rolled um, audiobook or ebook, and she rolled a book with like a color in the title. Um, I'm gonna stretch it slightly, and I'm gonna do Book of Night by Holly Black. I'm listening to this on audio right now. I don't have very much left. Um, night is a color, y'all. Don't come for me. The saying is black is night, so we're we're calling it. We're calling it a color. Um, I only have this tiny bit left and I will listen to the rest of this audiobook tomorrow when I'm grocery shopping. So I'm not going to focus on those prompts today. This is the book that's going to um, work for those two prompts. I did start reading Confessions. Did I read very much of it? No, I did not. I am on page 23. Um, after I ate dinner, I fell asleep, which I figured I was going to do because Fridays are very, very rough um, after a long week. So um, my focus for today is going to be this one. They're going to do the next roll drop in like six hours, and I will see what the prompts are. Ideally, Gallant would work for um, at least one of them, but, you know, we will see. We, we are at the mercy of whatever she rolls. Um, other than that... I don't have much to report because I did not do anything last night. I watched a tiny bit of the sprints, which is when I read <laughs> those 23 pages, and that's it. That's all I did. Then I fell asleep. So we're going to turn the sprints on, and I'm going to do some more reading on confessions and see where I can get over the next hour two hours maybe. I don't feel like this book is going to take me very long. I pretty much read it for 20 minutes and got to page 23. So um, I feel like I can get through this decently quick, but we will just play it by ear and go from there, see what those rolls are at six o'clock and um, see what I'm going to be reading tomorrow to finish things off because I am going to finish this one today. So I will come back with you when I have more to report. Hello everyone, it's 5.56, so we are like four minutes away-ish from the next set of roll drops. Um, I am almost finished with Confessions. This book is wild, y'all. Um, it's definitely a thriller that you want to read like in one sitting. I've just been like blowing through it, taking little breaks to do various things. I had a video to edit, got that um, scheduled for tomorrow. That is my week in my teacher life. Um, I packed up some books that I brought home from my classroom, which need to go into a storage locker. Um, if you watch that vlog, you'll know that I am almost to the end of the school year, and we have to pack up our whole classroom because they are wanting um, all of the shelves and everything emptied. So I'm trying to get any extra stuff moved out of my closet at school so that I have more space. So brought books home, boxed those up, labeled them, etc. And then I've just been reading. Um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, 
but um, I am on page 207 and there are 234 pages. So in the next sprint, um, which is being hosted by Gavin, I'm going to finish this book. So I'll be curious to see what the new roll drops are and pick a book that will hopefully work for both of them. So um, yeah, we're like a minute 40 seconds away. So I am going to screen record that um, to share in this vlog and then we'll chat about what I'm gonna read that will hopefully work for both prompts. So I will see you after that. Twenty twenty one book club on board roll number three. Nine. Spooky a book with spooky themes or a spooky cover. <laughs> Here we go. Twenty twenty book club on board roll number three. Six. And that is a young adult book. Okay, y'all. Um, I think I've gotten quite lucky <laughs> with these roll drops, y'all. So. The first one, well, he got him backwards. So it was young adult and then spooky. And I'm pretty sure this qualifies. Now, this is probably more middle grade, but the character is like 15 or 16, maybe a little bit older. I can't quite remember. I'm not very far into it as of yet. So um, I'm going with this one, Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which I've already started. Um, I am not very far into this. So I am on page 62, which is chapter six. So all I've read is this much, but y'all, spooky YA. Um, this is what we're going with. So, wow, wow, this is working out really well for me. So while I was waiting for the roll drops, I did do a little bit more reading. You just saw that. So now I am currently on page 213. And again, there's only 234 pages. So I'm going to finish this next chunk as soon as they start like the next sprint, I've just muted it so I can get on here. Tomorrow, I will finish the audio of this, which will check off um, audiobook and color, because as I said, I am calling night a color, don't come for me. Um, so that will check those two off, and then this is gonna check off Spooky YA. Like, perfect. Um, that being said, there's another roll drop at 6 a.m. my time, so in 12 hours. I don't know. I don't know um, if I'm going to manage to read anything for that one, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear, but I could not be happier with the roles so far. It is like they did them specifically for my already existing TBR. Thank you, Becca. So anyway, yes, let's go ahead and finish confessions. I will come back on, chat with you about my thoughts. As I said, this one is wild, wild. I am really enjoying it. So curious to see what's going to happen in the last like 20 pages or so. Um, and then we will do a little bit more reading on Gallant because I've not touched this one since Sunday. So um, definitely need to do some reading on that one. Anyway, I will be back to chat with you later. See you in a bit. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. It's 9.39. I got up like a little after eight. So I looked at the two um, final roll drops and they were water on the cover or like a water element on the cover, water color on the cover, etc. And then a feed scroll, which I thought was going to cause me some trouble, but thankfully, as I was looking through my Goodreads, I stumbled upon two posts that are going to work. So Nicole, thankfully, was going through and rating like two of the Chronicles of Narnia books. So I have both of them here. So the first one, um, which you can see on the screen, is the silver chair. Um, and if you look at it, 
It's got like greens and blues and whatnot, so watercolors on the cover. But then as I kept scrolling, she had also rated The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which if you are familiar, um, is set on the water. So like, um, there we go. So um, I think I'm actually going to be able to do all of the prompts for Bookoplathon. Who would have thunk? Um, anyway, let me do some recap. So I did finish Confessions. This book was wild, um, very twisty, turny. Um, it's a revenge story. And like the revenge plots were like um, circling in and around each other. This was crazy. I definitely would recommend this one. I'm giving it four stars. It reads so fast, and once you start it, you pretty much just want to go straight through. So, um, highly recommend. Very good book. Then, I also started working on Gallant, which was the prompt for YA and Spooky Vibes. I am nearly finished, so I am right here. I am on page 217. I have about 100 pages left, like a little over 100 pages left. Um, so, we're going to finish this today. I am also almost finished with Book of Night. I was listening to it this morning as I was getting ready. I am currently on page 291 and there are 304 pages. So we're gonna finish this one while I am out grocery shopping. And then we will come back and I am going to read, um, well, I'm gonna finish Gallant. <laughs> and then I'm gonna read Voyage of the Dawn Treader. And y'all, Book Oplathon will be finished. So for me, Book Oplathon ends at 6 p.m. my time four books read in a weekend. It has been a very long time since I've done that kind of reading. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go get some coffee um, and then we're going to go grocery shopping. So um, I will see you when I see you. And that will be me coming to talk about Gallant or no, probably this one, probably this one, because that one will actually be finished while I'm out. So see you then. Hello all, it is 11.11, I'm home from the grocery store and I just, well I finished Book of Night, I was listening to it while I was walking around the store, and this makes the second book complete for Bookoplathon. So this one checks the prompts of color in the title and audiobook or ebook, I listened to it on audio. Also, I did some, um, googling last night and night actually is the name of a color y'all i'm gonna put it right here like i thought i was maybe stretching it a tad but no it's an actual color so there you go um book of night and actually the color is like the color that they chose for the title so i wonder if they did that like intentionally but um now it's been a while since i've read a book by holly black i think the last one that i read by her was darkest part of the forest and that was probably two or three years ago um, so it had been a little bit, but this felt exactly like a Holly Black book. I know this was her adult debut and maybe there was like a little bit more adult content in here, but, um, the grittiness of the writing and everything that was like straight up normal Holly Black. So, um, while this is adult, um, it read very much like her YA, just with, you know, slightly more adult content. Um, there was a fairly big twist that happened towards the end of this one, which I did not see coming. Um, so I found that very interesting. I liked the book a lot. Um, I'm probably going to do four stars for it. Um, but yeah, I would recommend if you're at all intrigued, definitely check it out. I enjoyed it. So book two, done. Now I am going to turn on the sprints now that I'm home from the grocery store. I believe Steph is hosting them and I'm going to see if I can't finish Gallant in those sprints. Um, as I said, I have like a hundred pages left. This one reads pretty quickly. Like I read the bulk of this um, during the sprints last night with Gavin. So definitely think I can get this one done um, before two o'clock my time, which is when the last set of sprints starts. And that's when I will turn my attention to Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Um, 
and then I will have officially completed Bookoplathon. Who would have thought? Anyway, I will check in with you a bit later to chat with you about Gallant, let you know my thoughts. I'm enjoying it so far. It's middle grade, but definitely YA, like at the same time. I feel like it's probably more YA than middle grade, even though like it has these illustrations and things in it. Um, Cause it's, again, it's a little bit darker content. So, you know, there you go. I thought, you know, since it's middle grade I, in the prompt was YA, maybe I was not being like true to the prompt, but I do really think that this is YA more than middle grade. So anyway, not that I have to justify myself because, you know, Becca says, if you can make it work, make it work. So there you go. Um, I will come back, chat with you later. The lawnmower outside just kicked up. Yay. Um, so here we go. Let's get some reading done. Hey y'all, it is 1.45, so we're about 15 minutes away from the last or final set of sprints for Bookoplathon. I just finished Gallant a bit ago, so this makes six prompts complete um, with three books if you've been following along. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I am not sure what I'm gonna rate it. I think I'm probably going to do four stars, 4.5 maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, but I did finish it. So this is another book complete off of my May TBR. So that leaves one left. And that means I have a week and three days to get that final book read. So I am quite pleased <laughs> with myself because um, last month was a definite struggle, but this one's done. I also wanted to check briefly. I got some book ma bookish mail yesterday. So I had ordered some bookmarks from Daisy and B. Um, I ordered a whatever a thon bookmark to go with the team that I signed up for. So I am part of the Beach Readers team. Um, but yeah, it comes with like this little cute sticker. And I figured I would just show you to spice this vlog up a bit since it's literally been nothing but books. <laughs> um, so I did order the Beach Readers bookmark. So it just looks like this on the front and then it says this on the back. Um, so that was one. And then I went ahead and just got two more, not really generic, but like the ones that they offer. Um, so this one has like cactuses, cacti, and some crystals on a shelf. It's got their little logo at the back. The back side is blue with the same design without the logo. And then the final one I got are Daisies and Bees because, you know, um, that's their brand name. And I love flowers and bumblebees um, when I don't have to like be near them. They kind of like scare me because I'm always afraid they're going to sting me. But you know, um, so yeah, so those are the three that I picked up to go um, into my collection. So uh, there we go. Very, very cute. So that is my bookish mail. <laughs> um, I will link their shop below. Um, I think they are still doing like orders for the whatever thon bookmarks, but I don't know how much longer. Like I don't know if they're still going to be offering them by the time this vlog goes up, but I'll link it down below just in case. Now I am taking a bit of a break for like the last like 12 minutes and then I will go back to reading um, when Becca takes back over the sprints and we're going to work on The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which will cover my uh, water on the cover and feed scroll prompts. Um, this one is obviously, uh, it's 248 pages, but like the text is quite large, if you can see, and it's got illustrations throughout. This is, um, it's got color illustrations. Um, so there you go. So I doubt that this is going to take me very long to read. Um, and then I will have successfully completed this readathon. So um, that's where we're at. And I will come back on and chat with you and let you know um, 
how I did. Um, let's go back to this though, because I just realized I told you what I was going to rate it, but like not really my thoughts. Um, I definitely think this is YA. Like there's a lot of um, horror elements in this. Um, it talks about like ghouls, which are like essentially ghosts, but um, they have like bits and pieces of their bodies missing. Um, there is some violence here. Um, Olivia's parents' story is kind of dark. So I definitely, even though this looks like a middle grade book, I would definitely consider this YA. Um, so if you were curious, now that I've finished it, I definitely think it's YA. Um, the illustrations inside are quite nice. Um, and then also some of the pages are set up like journal entries. So um, kind of nice mis mixed media aspects. The story itself was interesting, intriguing. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to spoil anything. But um, here's a little tagline on the back. Um, so and that that sums it up quite nicely. Everything casts a shadow, even the world we live in. So yeah, sums it up quite nicely. I really enjoyed this. V.E. Schwab is just pretty much a winner in my book. I've really liked everything I've read by her so far. Um, I didn't love the archived as much, but I loved The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I really enjoyed A Darker Shade of Magic. Um, I've now read this one. And I feel like there's another one that I've read by her, but like I'm blanking on it, so I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, definitely a winner. Glad I gave this one a go. Glad it fit into Bogoplathon because it gave me a reason to just like plow through it because I'd kind of set it down and ignored it for like a week, um, which was a dumb decision because it was a really good book. But anyway, enough of that. It's 1.51. I'm going to take these nine minutes to kind of... Um, not read for a minute. And then we will dive on into this one and finish off the readathon. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, y'all, it's 549. And I am finished with Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Four books read this weekend, y'all. I do not even know if I've ever done that much reading over a 48 hour period. So thank you to Becca's Bookoplathon and the roles that just happened to work out like spectacularly for me. I was able to double up every single prompt and I was able to use two books that I'd already been in the process of reading and one that I'd needed to read anyway. Y'all, that only leaves one book left off my May TBR amazing. So yeah, I'm very pleased. Um, this is a favorite. So I've read this several times before. Um, if I had to put them like in order, I think The Magician's Nephew is my favorite. Um, but I do really like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I also really like The Silver Chair. And I also really like Voyage of the Dawn Treader. So um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it, but I had a lot of fun rereading this one. Um, it's your introduction to Eustace. If you are not familiar, Eustace is this very annoying cousin that the Pevensies have. And the first sen sentence says, there was a boy called Eustace Clarence Scrub and he almost deserved it. <laughs> That's still like one of my favorite starting lines. But anyway, yeah, so we're finished. We're finished. Um, now I'm going to um, hang up some laundry, blah, but I'm not touching a book for the remainder of today. I am going to start listening to the audiobook of East. That is the last um, book on my um, May TBR. It's also my buzzword pick for the prompt which is direction in the title so that's the last book I have to read and I've got um, all of like I have a full week to get it done so um, totally doable and on that note we're gonna end this uh, 48 hour bookoplathon vlog I hope you enjoyed watching as I um, took you along with my reading this weekend if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.